the exclusive vehicle of the Oklahoma State Fair. K-O-M-A. You know, in my career as a disc jockey, which started in 1947, I've played all kinds of records. And i got to tell you, some of the records I like best are novelty records. And in my opinion, this is the best novelty record I ever played. Here we go. Yeah! Don't let me startle you. I'm just doing the rebel yell here to kind of kick things off. You know what I mean? Oh. Peace. <laughs> Stan Freeberg. He had a great show on TV in the early 50s called Time for Beanie. This is 92.5 KOMA Radio, 7 minutes until 6. Temperature reading is 77 degrees, and people on the phone, I have one of the most important people in my life. He is the man that brought me home, brought me to KOMA, and talked Kent Jones into letting me come here. Ladies and gentlemen, Vance Harrison, Jr. Hey, hi, Danny. How are you? Hi, Vance. How are you? Oh, I'm terrific. Congratulations. I will never forget the afternoon that I got a call from you in Fort Worth, Texas, and you wanted to hire me on KLMA. I can't believe it. 16 I'll, years ago. And I'll never forget the interview itself three days later. Oh, yeah. Well, you're a hard negotiator. I know that. Well, and you told me that you'd never played golf before, but you'd like to walk around golf courses. Yeah, <laughs> right. I was kind of lied about that at that time. I'd say kind of as a, kind as a stretch. Of, you know, uh, KMA, which you manage, and when you came here, it was an AM station. You turned it into an FM station. You have made this one of the biggest stations in America. Well, I don't know that I did. I think people like you and Ronnie and Dave Martin did. And yeah, and Kent Credit Jones. to all of you. Yeah. Well, Vance, I hope you're having a nice... By the way, Vance is now the president of the Oklahoma Association of Broadcasters. Well, and also the president of the Danny Williams Fan Club. Oh, golly. Thank you, Vance, very, very much. Hey, and I want to thank you very much for that great party you had for all of us. Like, not well, too long ago. Danny, congratulations to all you did and for all of us that worked with you. It was an absolute treat every single morning coming in and seeing that smile on your face and wondering, did he say something that got him in trouble, or is he just happy to see me? <laughs> well, you did answer a few phone calls, didn't you? Well, we did a few, but I got to tell you, it was always a joy. And uh, if people uh, half your age had uh, half your energy, uh, this would be a great place. It, it, it was a remarkable run, and you deserve all the congratulations you've gotten. Thank you, Vance. I've had a lot of great bosses. Well, but I and, think uh, you're the best, okay? Well, it, you, you were the best, and uh, it was an absolute pleasure to work with you. Thank you. Say hello to Nancy and Martin. I will do so, okay. and good luck to you. And God bless you. Thank you very much. K-O-M-A. It's an event 100 years in the making. 100 years in the making. Coma traffic brought to you by Fowler Toyota. It looks like right now we have no accidents working. But if you see something we need to pass along, please give us a call at 460-5662. If you want to give Danny a call this morning, tell him goodbye. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Tell us call 1-866-588-6571. Gee, I don't know how I'll ever thank all you people who are calling me and people that have come by. And today, we have with us an Oklahoma treasure. He built one of Oklahoma's great assets. If you've never been there, you will be amazed. From the Oklahoma History Center, the man who built it and still directs it, Dr. Bob Blackburn. Hello, Danny. Good morning, friend. Hi, Dr. Blackburn. How are you? I'm doing great, and it's, it's wonderful to sit here and listen to the love coming in on the telephone calls, <laughs> wishing you good for the future. Thank you very much. You know that History Center you've got out there is unbelievable. Thank you for accepting my 3D Danny costume and putting in that great display. <laughs> well, thank Danny, you know, you've meant so much to me personally over the oh, years. Because really? I'm a baby boomer, and so I grew up with you. You are a part of my life. But as a historian, my job is to try to decide what is important, how do we collect it, how do we tell the story. And, and my key, I think, to the success of the History Center and the books that I've done is that my emphasis trying to, is trying to find a sense of community, a shared memory of what binds us together as people, because there's love in people, as you know. You've been preaching yeah. that for, for 50 years. But one thing that I've found is that 
if we can find those points of contact that bind us together, like the places and the events, but then the people. And of all of the people in Oklahoma history in the 20th century who bind us together and all the shared memories that makes us feel good about ourselves, good about our community, you are at the top of the list. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I, I can't stand this. <laughs> and when we got your uh, 3D Danny outfit, it was an important day to me. I'll never forget it. I remember you me and Maureen. Either. You and Maureen were out there. We were showing you the History Center, and I was telling you what we were trying to do with the shared memory and being a part of people's lives. And you turned to me, and a tear was in your eye. And you said, Bob, 3D Danny has to be here. And that is there today. Bazark is there. And your memory... And my uh, rocket not gonna, ship is there. The rocket ship yeah. is there now. That's right. You just brought that in. So we will remember you for all time, not just in our generation, but in the future, because you yeah. are part of the Oklahoma History Center and a part of Oklahoma history. Well, let me tell you something, Dr. Blackburn. That History Center, as a matter of fact, folks, I want you to know this. The Smithsonian Institute came here to Oklahoma to see our history center, and they said it's the best in the United States. Now, that's pretty good. <laughs> thank you. Will you help make it? Well, thank you. Dr. Bob Blackburn, people. Thank you, Daddy. Go to the history center and sit. And by the way, Michael Dean, uh, Melvin, I call him. Hi, Melvin. Hi, Donnie. How are you this morning? <laughs> Melvin is the guy who got me in touch with you all, and uh, Michael has worked here with us at KLMA for a long time. Michael, nice to have you out here. Good to be here, Danny. I wouldn't miss this for anything. Um, actually, Kent Jones hired me 20 years ago. I think it was next week. Yeah. So I, I'll celebrate 20 years either full-time yeah. or part-time here at KLMA. Yeah. yeah, he told me that he'd made a few mistakes and you were one of them. No, yeah. <laughs> no I'm just kidding. No, there. I know that. Thank you, Michael, very, very much for coming by. Dr. Blackburn, I have the utmost respect for you in the History Center. And now, let's play some music. <laughs> The best music of the 60s and 70s. 